welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Windows Server 2008 video tutorial. I know how many of you out there enjoy these and I receive uh, thousands of emails a week about Windows Server 2008. Let me first say that uh, very quickly, if you really want to learn Windows Server 2008 on your own time, stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com and click the pull down menu and there's a Windows Server 2008 training DVD. It's very inexpensive and you can learn on your own time. Or better yet, go to onlineclass.jackstechcorner.com and look for the Windows Server 2008 uh, online course. You can go ahead there and start taking that course. Again, very inexpensive, but then you end up with a certificate. You do not get a certificate with the DVD course. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you just briefly about uh, how to keep your servers operational and running very smoothly. There's a, two things we have to watch and make sure we have set up properly. The first is, whenever your server is running DHCP and it's handy on IP addresses, we want to make sure that time to live, or TTL, is actually very small. Because you don't want that IP address handed out and leave that client hold that address forever and then it won't be in your address pool. So let's go ahead and look at that first. Let's go to administrative tools and open up our DHCP. And right here, open this up, go to IP4. And here's our scope right here. Now if we right click and go to properties, on this scope of addresses, right down here, there's a least duration for DHCP clients. Now, what that's telling us, that's basically what I told you. It's basically a TTL or time to live. How long is that address going to live with that DHCP client? Now you can see here, we have ours set currently right now for eight days. If you have a lot of laptops in your organization or coming in and out of your, your DHCP uh, scope of addresses change that to zero and change your hours to eight and click apply and okay that way you know that basically eight hour business day uh, is as long as that address is going to be held out there now people tell me all the time jack oh my what's going to happen if uh that client's on your uh, network for 11 hours basically nothing. What's going to happen is is eight hours, once that client leaves for eight hours, that address is going to go back into the pool. That's the time to live, eight hours. Uh, basically, the DHCP is sitting there waiting for that client to come back to hand it the same address. Okay, that is that. So that has to be set up. Next, go ahead into your administrative tools. And let's look at our DNS scope. And under our DNS scope or DNS server settings, however you want to look at this, on your server itself, if you right click on that, go here to where it says set aging and scavenging for all zones. Now what this is basically, it only allows records to be held in your DNS server for a certain length of time. And we have found that sometimes if a client would pick up a different IP address, their name may in fact be listed in your DNS server more than once. What happens then, the server gets confused and won't allow that client to log on. So you need to uh, scavenge the uh, stale resource records, click on that, and then you want a uh, no refresh interval, and then there's a refresh interval. The non refresh interval, it'll tell you, is, is the time between the most recent refresh of the record timestamp and the moment when the timestamp may be refreshed again. That's set for seven days. And the time between the earliest moment of the record timestamp that can be refreshed and the earliest moment when the record can be scavenged. So you can actually change this to either hours or days. We leave both of our set for seven days. So after seven days, that basically that record that's sitting in there, if it's seven days old and has to be basically accessed again, it's gonna scavenge it, it's gonna clean it up. Click okay, and this is going to clean all records now. 
click OK. And if there's anything in there now, it just cleaned it up for you. So those are the two main areas you have to watch and make sure those settings are correct to make sure your network is running smoothly and soundly so you can sleep at night. Remember, once again, check out that uh, website, jackstechcorner.com. Uh, you'll see the DVDs. On the last tab on the page, you'll see about the online class. Uh, many people have been in the online class, and it's very successful, and they're very happy they did come by to take that class. Again, the class is uh, at your own pace. And if you just want to go straight to the class, it's http colon slash slash online class dot jackstechcorner.com. Thanks for watching this video tutorial of Windows Server 2008, and we'll see you back here next time with another Windows Server tips and tricks. Bye for now.